Well, here we are at Tobber at Little Hayes, um, fishing a quick overnight and really a practice for the back of the landing net match next week. We're all set up, ready to go. Let's see if we get a few fish during the night. A bit more importantly now, it's time to start cooking dinner. We are at Todburn Todd Manor, Little Hayes. Um, we've both been working this morning, so we're probably the last ones to arrive on the lake today. Um, we felt like pushing the boat out a little bit, so we're having steak tonight. Um, got some nice rump steak from the local butcher. Uh, we've got new potatoes cooking. Uh, we've got some lovely vine cherry tomatoes, some chestnut mushrooms, some purple sprouting, which just come into season, and uh, a little bit lavish, some asparagus. Um, so we're going to just cook up a simple meal, we've got a bottle of red wine waiting in the bivvy and uh, that's our evening. Nice sauce. Slice some onion. Uh, I, I really like the combination of beef and onion so um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, sweat off the onion. I try and get a little bit of colour but if you cook it too fast you'll get it burnt so you just need to take it nice and steady. Uh, we'll keep moving it around. I might even put a little bit of red wine in there. Um, the chestnut mushrooms will be going in at the last thing really but Chestnut mushrooms, you could use ordinary mushrooms, you could use wild mushrooms. I quite like the chestnut mushrooms for the colour and the flavour. Um, they just look attractive. Love purple sprouting. Um, when that comes into season, I'm a bit sad like that. I like, I like, <laughs> like to uh, get some in and, and get it cooking. Um, vine cherry tomatoes, we cook these at my cafe. I tend to serve them whole, we'll bake them like this, roast them in the oven. I'm going to try and do it on top of the pan tonight and cook them like that. Uh, and then the small matter of one of my favourite delicacies, asparagus. Um, not really in season, but just really fancied it really. Uh, the way to test the weak point is rather than cut uh, where the tender bit is, if you just bend like that, the uh, asparagus will give where the uh, tender bit is. So you just do that with each spear. You can just dis disregard these bits and then you'll have the nice tender bit without any mouthfuls of chewy, sinewy stem. There we go. Steve just uh, opened the red wine, as you probably just heard the, the lovely sound of the pop, which we all love. That will just air off nicely in the breeze here. And then I've got the rump steak here that I just bought from the butcher and asked him to cut in half so I didn't have to worry about that. Look at that, beautiful piece of rump. When you could use sirloin, you can use fillet. The fillet doesn't have any fat on. That's the tenderest and, and most expensive cut. We like the rump. It has a little bit of fat, which uh, you know adds to the flavour. It's entirely up to you which one you prefer. Um, rump is our thing. Just going to season the steak. That's vital to the flavour at the other end. You really want that that happening. And we always carry our little cruet set, which, um, as you can see, separates off. Typical chef. I just use the uh, open back end of it. Uh, this is like a spicy red pepper mix that will go on there and that flavour will lock in when we sear it in the hot pan so you really want that there. At the moment I've got my onions going so we're sorted there, just time and motion now. <laughs> okay you can see I've browned my onions off and they're getting nice and soft now. I've seasoned my steak as you saw, so I'm just going to put that into the hot pan now. That's the sound you're looking for, you want that, otherwise it will stick to the pan. You need that searing sound as soon as you put it in the pan. We're both going to have our steak medium. I uh, should be able to do that with the touch test in a minute when we, uh, we get there, but we're going to look for about sort of five minutes on each side there. Um, the potatoes are all but part cooked, so uh, as you can see I've got the broccoli, broccoli and asparagus. Um, I'm just going to literally just trim the purple sprout in off the top end like that so we've just got the best part of it and then I'm going to chuck it on top of the potatoes just to steam them it's only going to take a couple of minutes so you know at this point in time don't even want to be putting that on top of the potatoes because that steak's going to take longer just timing everything in to a solid conclusion at the same time 
don't forget this broccoli is um, maybe we may be eating outside, but it's full of folic acid. For everything that you want as part of your five a day, it will lose its purple. It will go a deep green, which is a shame, I always think, but um, the flavour is really, really good. Okay, we're going to have about that much for the two of us. And then we've got our asparagus here, so then we've got the mushrooms, tomatoes, onions. We've, we've got our five a day happening and a supper here. Right, our steak's been going for a few minutes now. I'm just going to flip it. Look at that. That's caramelised. That's what we're looking to have. I've um, got one of the vine tomatoes on there. When I'm content that the um, steak's doing its thing, I'm just going to literally just drop the other tomatoes just in on top. And they will just steam like that in the pan. And a really good flavour. So we'll just leave them cooking with the steak. Um, in a minute we'll be adding the broccoli and the um, asparagus and we'll be adding the mushrooms next into the pan here. Right, these mushrooms just take the stem down. I'm just going to sit them in and around the pan and leave them whole. Because again, they'll just steam in the heat, so I might add a couple more under there. There we go, that's all cooking together now. All those flavours will uh, join together and all the flavours work really well together, so that's going to be a delicious dish. Okay, our potatoes are done. Next thing, I'm just going to add the purple sprite and broccoli. That's just going to steam for a couple of minutes on top of there with the lid on. Uh, the saying has that if it grows below ground, you should cook them in a pan of uh, bring up to the boil in cold water. If it grows above ground, i.e. purple sprite and broccoli, asparagus, you should bring the water to a rolling boil first. Uh, so obviously my water with the potatoes is already boiling, so we're just going to steam that for a couple of minutes. Okay, I've just lifted the steak out. Steak does well to rest for a couple of minutes before you eat it. it just loosens the tendons up, lets everything relax a little when you've put it into hot fat, it's gone and really tight. Uh, take it out for a couple of minutes, it'll just slacken off. Um, so now we've got the mushrooms and the onions here. I'm just going to, what we call deglaze with a little uh, red wine. That will create a little bit of a sauce for us to have with the steak. Um, and then just to put a nice little shine on the on the sauce. We just done a little knob of butter which um, as I said just offers a glaze for the for the pan and uh, puts a sheen on the sauce. Just only needs a little bit. I mean we've carried buttered anyway because we've you know we're having breakfast tomorrow morning so we'll be having our bacon sandwich and that so it's all ingredients we've got here anyway by the bank couple minutes and as you can see now eat. I've just added the asparagus we've got our potatoes purple sprout in and asparagus which is going to take minutes to cook once this is deglazed we want to reduce the red wine by half then it's ready just to put together okay we've got our asparagus and purple sprout in ready I'm just going to slide a knife through that we want it slightly crisp in the trade we call that al dente which means with bite slight crisp still just going to turn that off and strain it Perks are working outside. We don't have a sink, so we drain the veg outside. Okay, what we're going to do now is just place our steak on the plates. As you can see now, the uh, tomatoes have cooked really beautifully, so we're just going to lift the steak onto the plate. And you should be able to just lift the tomatoes like that onto the plate as well. And then we've got our tomatoes, we've got our mushrooms. I've cooked those whole, I love them cooked whole, I think they keep the juices in and keep the flavour in all at the same time. You've got our red wine deglaze here which as you can see reduced right down. We're going to tip that over the steak. And all the flavour of the steak cooking in the pan is all in that pan with the red wine all amalgamated now. That'll be delicious. Next we have our asparagus, which in fact I cut in half in the end just to fit in uh, the saucepan because it was too long. It's one of my most favourite things, asparagus. 
and mine. And then we've got the purple sprouting, full of absolute goodness there. And then we've got our new potatoes. That's it, I reckon we're there. There's one thing missing, one bit further. A glass of red wine. Bon appétit. Mm -mm. Well, sun's setting now, just about the week. Let's hope we have a good night with a few fish. <laughs>